We copy station. Associate Administrator Kathy Leaders, please call the International Space Station for a voice check. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, we can definitely hear you. Greetings. Greetings. Are you ready to go? Let's do it. I'm not sure if we're supposed to start talking first or if you're going to talk first. Okay. I'll get started and then you guys can follow. Okay. Hey, you know, tonight, tonight's docking was a perfect way for us to finish up what has been our 10-year anniversary year for the, for the commercial crew program. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but it feels like the last two weeks have been pretty crazy for me. And uh, I know you guys are probably real happy to be out of crew quarters. I told uh, Norm Knight last night we were rescuing him from crew quarters with this launch. And uh, I know you guys, I know Mark, you are waiting patiently for them to come, um, enjoying a few days of a little bit of quiet before the next round of folks coming up. Um, but boy, is it good to see you. Uh, so, Raja, I, I'm hearing, you know, you're here leading the turtles and, uh, and, and you have the turtle there. And as you know, I'm so happy to, in, in particular, to see you there after all your work doing the joint test team. So after you come back, it'll be good to hear how the vehicle operated for you with all the work that you did. And it's so fantastic to see Matthias, Kayla, and Tom there with you safely. So we can't wait to see all the work you all are going to accomplish. And I'm looking forward to many, many more amazing experiences to come over the next six months while you all are there. Thank you again for your service. I loved, Roger, what you said yesterday when you're, we're getting ready for launch. And you said, you know, we're hoping for a Halloween launch, but it's even cooler right now to be able to launch and dock on Veterans Day. And it is a great way for us to honor our veterans. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. And uh, thanks to all the SpaceX and NASA teams. As you mentioned, uh, it, uh, it was great to get to work on the vehicle. I think we all loved the ride up there. Uh, it was way smoother than we could have imagined, and uh, that feeling going from Miko to the second stage was just awesome uh, and a beautiful ride. Uh, it was neat to see and feel the engines respond and then see it in the displays. And as you mentioned, uh, we worked tests before, and it wouldn't have been complete without testing out the system uh, and seeing if we could go from landing to launch in under 48 hours. So kudos to the entire team that pulled that off. Um, we drove Norm crazy in crew quarters, but uh, we had a pretty, uh, we got all gates of weight there too, but we're, <laughs> we're happy to be here now and ready to work. Uh, hi, colleagues. Uh, I'm very proud to be commander of this great team. We are start to fly together, and I know in the future we'll have the beautiful days on orbit together. We'll work together and relax together. And, and I can't tell you how happy I am to see these smiling faces. Every one of us, all seven of us, are, are friends, and we're going to become even better friends as time goes on. And we've got a lot of work to do to do all the science experiments. Uh, I learned over over the course of last week that at this moment we've got 60 in, 60 experiments in progress already, and of course by the time we finish our time up here, we'll have participated in many more experiments than that. Um, we've got a lot of work to do, a lot of exciting times coming up, and uh, it's really an honor to be up here at the time when these folks arrived and. Uh, to be able to help out, not just with doing science that's going to help out with f human humanity on the Earth right now, but also to help the human race be better to able to explore further and further away from our home planet.
Thank you, Mrs. Leaders. We now welcome ESA Director General Joseph Oshbacher. Please call station for a voice check. Uh, station, this is Joseph Oshbacher. How do you hear me? Hello, Joseph. Here's Matthias. I heard you five by five. Five by five. Fantastic. Uh, really happy uh, to see you, Matthias. Uh, happy to see all of you. And, and uh, it is uh, just uh, amazing to see these smiling faces. Uh, I think, uh, Matthias, it must be a great feeling experiencing uh, weightlessness uh, life and uh, for the first time uh, for you. And uh, I think this is just uh, it's just fantastic. I have to say that. Uh, for ESA and for Europe, it is uh, it's fascinating to have you as our next representative at the space station, while Toma, as you know, has just returned uh, to your common uh, home base, the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, and uh, both to recover for him, but also to engage in uh, post-mission uh, scientific activities, uh, the science that you will continue uh, in the next coming uh, six months. Uh, Matthias, I can only tell you that we all at ESA, we are so proud of uh, of you and are very excited to see you at the space station. Of course, we wish you all the best of luck. Uh, I know you have a, a lot of science and a lot of experiments uh, ahead of you, EVAs, including work on the European robotic arm. Uh, we look forward to seeing you working in the NASA and the Russian space suits. Uh, but also, I hope that you, you have some time uh, to enjoy the stunning views of uh, our beautiful planet Earth from the cupola and your messages uh, to planet Earth, uh, to all of us down here, will certainly be exciting and helping us all to, to preserve it. And uh, it's just uh, just beautiful. So really, from my side, uh, Matthias, a very, very warm welcome uh, uh, to all of you, also to Raja, to Tom, uh, Kayla, uh, on behalf of, uh, of the European Space Agency. And I'm just so excited and so happy to see you up there, smiling and in very good shape. Many thanks, Joseph. Many thanks to all the ESA colleagues uh, who helped me to find the way up here to, into space. It was a very interesting ride, exciting yesterday on the, the Falcon 9 and the Crew Dragon. And uh, just minutes before we started this PRO event, uh, my colleagues here actually uh, gave me the honor in opening the cupola uh, shutters. And just that's an amazing view. It's the view that I was dreaming about for years. And um, I, after this event, I will go back and just in, indulge more in this view. So, yes, you said right, we have a lot of science experiments ahead, and uh, I'm very happy to continue what Thomas started. And uh, then after six months, I will hand over to Samantha, and it will be the time of longest European presence in space, one and a half years, almost without interruption, if Thomas hadn't left early. <laughs> And yes, we strive to, uh, to provide all the science um, experiments that all the scientists on the ground are hoping for. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, Matthias, and, uh, and really a, a very warm greetings from all of us here. So, danke schön and uh, auch auf Deutsch noch ein paar Grüße, weil es einfach so schön ist, dich uh, in guter Form zu sehen und uh, alles gut. Eh? Ganz herzlichen Dank und ganz, ganz liebe Grüße natürlich auch an alle in Deutschland, in Europa, die das hier möglich gemacht haben. Natürlich auch besonders meine Freunde und Familie. Danke. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you, Associate Administrator, Leaders and Director General Ashbacher for your participation in the Crew 3 Welcome Ceremony. Station, we are now resuming normal operational audio communication.